If you could call so meager a task done, a wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No, but it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Spartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. <laughs> the air smells a lot cleaner. Must be because we shut down the rigs. Back to Thor and Odin's story? Where were we? Not now. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Okay, what other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? Ah, but enough of that for now.
We going to Derland's? Hope he'll be happy we fixed those rakes. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin? You have an appointment? Uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I... Wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Dina? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Right side, incoming! Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Smell him, but it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, dear. Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. <laughs>
This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. We can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. Hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Darling, he didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Darling's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. A true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. like we're here. Come on. This way. You can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. Oh. Ah. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. It seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. <laughs> A bomb. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Bari, the dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. 